So down here I'll click this little folded paper icon. I'll call this one Gel Saxon. And this is going to be almost entirely the primitives tool. Okay, it's a start. So the very first thing I'm going to do to these right now is just I'm going to add in some irregularities. I'm also going to actually turn off symmetry for this because I don't want them to be identical. Just so they look more like the actual skin, I'm putting them on the brown shader as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a little bit of detail to the tail here. And then I'll probably be ready to increase the resolution of the overall body. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make some sort of like uh, little skin pores here. Kind of like uh, if I look at the reference. And Something kind of like these little, I'm not sure how well you guys can see that, but something kind of like these little nodules we see here on the top of this guy. Yeah, like that. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm actually going to make a custom alpha for my extrude brush. So I'll hit new here. Create using curves. And this one... It's going to start off very shallow and then gradually work its way up. Actually, in order to really make the best use of this, I'm going to go ahead and increase the resolution of my main body mesh. So I can do that by going all the way down here, hitting Res Plus. Or I could also right-click and increase the density. Or in my case, I've bound the res plus command to shift R, so I'm just going to hit shift R. Now there's a little 2x next to our main body, so now we know that the, uh, the resolution has increased. So with extrude, I'm going to change this to the uh, sort of the drag mode. And as you see, we get these little little bumps. And I'll probably move some of those around once I turn off symmetry, but I won't do that right now. Alright, since we already increased the resolution of our main body object, let's work on some other details. Particularly, I want to focus on the mouth right now. So what I'm going to do is, looking back at our reference, right here, I want to work more on this. And it's not terribly present right here, but there is a bit of a sort of a gum line to the teeth, and I want to make that right now. So the way I'll do that is I'm going to use the Curves tool, actually. Now the curve from before that we used to originally make this creature is still there. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. I want to start right here. I know it looks like a set of mouth lips right now and that's just and that's partially because there are no teeth in them just yet. But first let me fill this in. And then looking at our reference here, I'm going to make some definitions for the uh, placement of the teeth later. And that's basically just using the build brush. I'm actually going to turn symmetry off for this part as well.
And I'm using a pointed alpha here in order to get the uh, sort of the feel of the teeth underneath the gums. Right at this stage, I'm the uh, sort of the the outline of the of the jaw here is looking a little too humanoid for my taste. It's this very common horseshoe shape, whereas if we look at the reference, it's more triangular in nature. So I'm going to just real quick go with my move tool and just try and fix that.